Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the album Captain Morgan's Revenge by the band Ailstorm. Um, now, I already reviewed their uh, newest album, uh, Curse of the Crystal Coconut, which was, which was released um, uh, a, little, a little while into this year. Uh, I think it was like early 2020, if I remember correctly. But, uh, I'm sorry, I've just... <laughs> Uh, I don't usually keep up on release dates of newer stuff. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so, this is their first album. Uh, and it was released in, I believe, 2015. Um, this is the, uh, 10th anniversary edition. Um, as, eh, it's right here, it's, it's very small, but you could, there you go, 10th anniversary edition, so, 10 years, uh, 2015. Uh, yeah, this was, this was released in, um, 2015, which is strange, because I always thought this album was released in 2010. Mm, I guess I was wrong. Um, but yeah, so, and, uh, it is the 10th anniversary edition, so that means there is bonus features, and that is, uh, a bonus disc, uh, a bonus disc that, uh, um, has a bunch of, uh, songs from, I guess, their li uh, one of their live shows. Um, see, there's the, uh, bonus stuff. Uh, it says, uh, Disc 2, Live at Summer Breeze 2015. Um, but yeah. So, uh, there is no booklet, weirdly enough. Uh, so it doesn't have the credits for who does what. Um, interesting enough, it came with this, though, which is a pamphlet, uh, I guess to get the actual lyric, uh, I guess to get the actual lyric sheet, you have to buy the deluxe box set, which is very stupid, because this is practically, hold on, I have to get this other thing out of here without having everything fall over, because this is practically the same kind of thing as this. Uh, yeah, this is a 10th anniversary edition. This is, a, this is I guess, non. Um, I guess this is a special edition, if I'm not mistaken, because it does have a bonus disc. But even then, this special edition has the lyric, lyric sheet right here, which, so I don't know why, I don't know who in the, their, uh, um, uh, whoever just had the business go ahead to uh, distribute these albums. I don't know why they decided... Oh, you could only get the lyric pamphlet if you get the deluxe box set. That's stupid. But, um, oh, that's the reason I had this out in the first place. Hold on. Um, band, lim band members. There we go. I am, I am all over the place today. Um, uh, da, da, da. uh, Mate, Mate Bodar. I think it's pronounced Matt, with an, but with an E at the end. The E is silent, I guess. Matt. Bodar on guitar. Um, Gareth Murdoch on bass. Elliot Varian on keyboards. Peter Alcorn on drums. And. Oh, I think I skipped something. Uh, Oh yeah, and Christopher Bowes on vocals and guitar. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> uh, the album starts off with the song "Over the Seas." Um, this one's pretty good. Um, it is kind of your typical uh um Ailstorm song. It's just sort of a very sort of I guess whimsical piratey song. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, uh, but then the second song, it's the title track, Captain Morgan's Revenge. Um, I heard this song, uh, you know, the title track, way before I even heard any other um, uh, Ailstorm songs. Um, I think, I guess it was just in my YouTube suggested videos section. Um, I, I really, really love this song. Um, yeah, it does have the more, uh, uh, whimsical piratey feel that most Ailstorm songs do, especially later on. 
But, I mean, it, it, it has a unique flair to it. Like, uh, um, the story, there's a story behind this one, a very interesting story. Uh, I guess in the song, uh, there's this, uh, I, uh, Captain Morgan guy. Um, I don't know if they're uh, referencing the actual Captain Morgan from the like, 17, 1800s, or this is just a fictional version of him. Um, but, uh, I guess he... He gets mutinied, like, uh, his, his uh, um, crew, crew uh, uh, does a mutiny, and, like, they, uh, they sentence him to walk the plank or something, and he drowns, but right before drowning, like, I guess right before he, uh, uh, walks the plank, or right before he just goes underneath the water completely, he basically curses his crew, uh, um, what were the words again? Oh, yeah, he curses them, um, you will soon die, or worse. Uh, so then, like, just bad luck befalls the rest of the crew uh, a little while after, and uh, they get caught by, I guess, uh, some naval guys, I guess the British naval naval army or something, and, like, uh, they're basically in, in, like, locked in cells waiting to be hanged, and uh, uh, they're basically just contemplating on, should we have actually uh, committed mutiny, and, uh, and uh, if we didn't, uh, we don't think this would have happened, so we kind of regret everything. Uh, but they are also in the same mindset of, um, in the song, it, um, kind of suggests that, uh, even though they, uh, they are now thinking, they're regretting their actions, they, uh, uh have also now ex accepted their fate, and they're just like, well, what's done is done. All we can do is face the news head on, you know? Uh, not complain about it. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a, <laughs> sort of a somber story, like, it's sort of a very, um, sad ending, like, these guys, like, yeah, they come in immediately, like, these guys just, like, end up getting hanged in the end, but, like, they're positive about it, they're, like, the afterlife awaits, you know, they're very, uh, uh non, um, upset about it, in a way, um, but, yeah, it's a really good song, um, I think one of, if, I think it's the first song, to, of an Ailstorm song to uh, feature anything supernatural going on in the um, story. Uh, you know, the uh, Curse of Captain Morgan is uh, what uh, what they call it in the, in the song. Um, but yeah, really great song. Actually, this, this song should have been the first song on the album. It would have fit perfectly like, right there. Um, but yeah, um, that's the second song. All right. Next up, uh, next song is the Huntmaster. This one's a very forgettable song. Um, it clearly is just filler. Eh. Um, and the next, the next song is, uh, I'd say probably my favorite song on the uh, album. Musically, I really, really, really love what they did with the song. Musically, I, li I mean the lyrics are pretty fun too. Uh, they're the cat. They're the usual sort of uh, piratey, I guess. Um, uh, st the piratey story and lyrics going on in, a in your usual Ailstorm song. Um, the the next song is uh, um, Nancy the Tavern Wench. Yeah, your typical, your typical. Um, oh, drink beer and go to you know. Go see the winch. Um, but, um, this one, while it's pretty, it tells a pretty decent story. Um, even though it tells a pretty decent story, the thing I like about it the most is the instrumentation. More particularly, uh, more specifically, the guitar. Um, what's very interesting about it is, like, this is sort of the only Ailstorm song that I've heard uh, that really emphasizes the down-tuning of the guitar. Like, it's almost so down-tuned, it seems like a guitar, like, riff, uh, that you'd hear in a death metal song. You know, it's very, very, very down-tuned. But it fits somehow. It fits the song somehow. And I really, really like it. it like, just brings a sort of, uh, 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 heaviness to the song that, even though technically isn't needed... It's very much welcomed, and it fits oddly enough. 
Um, but yeah, um, that's Nancy the Tavern Winch. That song is very good. I love it. Um, while the, again, while the, uh, 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 story and lyrics are pretty typical and not too, nothing too amazing, the instrumentation, especially with the guitar, is amazing. Um, next song is Death Before Mist. Okay, this album picks up very, very much with this song. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. Um, it's very fast-paced. Has a lot of blast beats, and you could tell the song, even though it's you know it, it still has the uh, soul and what is needed in the uh, uh, in, in a typical uh, ale storm song. It's very like the pacing and the uh, just the way it's presented is very much reminiscent of something like on long lines of like a death thrash, you know, uh, um, like a death thrash song. Um, yeah, I mean, death thrash isn't. I don't think it's very common. It's a very odd subgenre of a mixture of death and thrash metal. But it fits somehow. Again, they find these weird sort of uh, uh, elements that you wouldn't think would fit the sound and style of Alestorm and incorporate those to make them fit very, very, very well. Um, but yeah, um, Death Before the Mist, I mean, it still has the um, piratey scotsman type vocals but done they're, they're sort of a little bit more uh um gruffer in a way but not too much um but yeah death before mist is an amazing song um then it goes right into terror on the high seas which also has the same sort of style as as uh, um death death before the mist um again it, it, i'll have to say about that one it pairs very well with the song that went before it um, Set Sail and Conquer. Um, this one's pretty good. I do like this one. It's sort of a reprieve from the, uh, very, uh, um, unexpected but very welcomed, um, uh, style of songs from, uh, very well, um, style songs from the, uh, two songs before it. Um, it goes back to the more, uh, um, piratey sort of, traditional Aelstorm sound. Um, and it does it really well. Um, and then the second song, uh, the, I mean, not the second song, but the song after, I actually at first thought it was just the, like, like, like the second song, I mean, not the second song, but the song after, after Set Sail and Conquer is just called Of Treasure. So initially I thought it was just like, they, I guess they didn't have enough room to put a long title there, so they put Of Treasure beneath Set Sail and Conquer. But, Apparently, it's its own song. Like, it's just Set Sail and Conquer, and then the song uh, after that is called Of Treasure. And it's just very, it's a very odd title. Like, it's its basically just uh, a section of a, of a larger sentence, or it feels that way. Um, of Treasure is also very good. Again, it kind of keeps up with the uh, uh, style of the song before it. There's a lot of consistency. Uh, throughout the uh, styles of each song, like they they fit really well with it, one another, which is really good. Anyway, um, and then the one after that is Winches and Mead. This one, I find it to be more entertaining musically. Lyrically, it's very simplistic and very, very, very simplistic and basic, and it's just uh, one line of chorus repeat over and over again for the most part. And yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I just probably will always listen to this just for everything else besides the vote. I'm not besides the vocals, but besides the lyrics. Um, and then the last song is "Flower of Scotland." This is one of the only two songs I find just I just don't really care for all that much. It's not bad. It's just sort of meh. Um, but yeah. So uh, overall. A really, really good album. Um, definitely uh, um, something like I was really looking looking forward to uh, uh, listen to, and uh, sort of uh, listen to the first album, see uh, 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 how they like how they sounded compared to their most recent album, which is the only other album I listened to so far. Um, but uh, it just got really dark in here. Hold on. No, stay on. Okay. 
<sighs> that lamp doesn't stay on sometimes. Mm, probably gonna have to get a new one at some point, but eh. uh, anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so um, definitely um, a really, really good album. Uh, there's only really two songs that I don't like, and even the songs that I don't like aren't terrible. They're just sort of meh. So with that, I'm definitely gonna give this album a nine out of ten. Uh, I would have given it a ten out of ten, but I, like I said, two songs are just meh. I mean, I, they're they're listenable, but I wouldn't go back to them um most of the time. But yeah, a nine out of ten, an almost almost perfect album. Um, just an amazing first album, in my opinion, uh, now that I've heard it, definitely one of the best, uh, um, uh, debut albums I've listened to. Um, but yeah, so, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you all next time.